Hello and welcome back to the Laris uh, Aquatics. And yeah, well, we are right now in the process of, well, getting Shoal 3 here um, with our special project along. So my science ship prospector is already working on that. Finding something, hopefully it's a level 5 one, so it should be an interesting one. And then we can finally settle on that. Now, the food problem. We do have, of course, a dragon, a very hunger, hungry dragon in Soros Domain that is really, really dropping the food by another 15 um, down at the moment. I think this is growing over time. I might be mistaken about that, but right now he's consuming 15 food, and even then we are a bit low on food as well. So we need to tackle this problem immediately. We still have 1,100 food available, and as we can see here, I'm building some agricultural districts on Gedexus Prime now, our agri world, and in Soros Domain we also have enough jobs. Now, let's just have a look at my um, population control here. And as I can see, we do have angler jobs available, but they're not all being used. So let's just um, mark this one as a special job. So high priority. And as we can see, now it's being used. Of course, we produce less minerals and less energy with that. But these are looking rather good anyway. The same probably on Gedexus. Let's mark this one as special. And oh, yeah, in tra Trappist, no one is working on the angler there right now. And that's another very, very important thing that we need to do there. So with that we are actually positive now how very good i think it was actually Soros domain that did the trick so the three pops that are working now in addition on the um on the planet here this is completely negating now the planet uh, deficit for the food how very nice at least for now it's working we'll just see how it continues right at least for now we are positive on the food there once more now on the other end of my system um my science my construction ship is finished and we can now go to mizar and finally build us a spaceport here finally finally why this is a really important milestone because we actually get this choke point here then with that and we have secured this whole sphere here now um, with our uh, star bases, right? So in Ribbler over there where we have the star hole right now, we already have a, a decent station and once we finish the drones, we can also finally start building us some striker crafts there. Unknown contact. Oh, there's something coming out of Shawl. Um... The planetary ocean seems to communicate with frequencies that affect the brain activity of the recipient. It is able to induce thoughts, images, emotions, and what is more, affects each individual differently. Oh my goodness. Um, let's see what we need to do here. Request that a planetary decision to study the strange sea be enacted. Um, either we go with that or we don't have time for this. I think this will be having a bad outcome. Whereas this one here begins the unknown contact event chain and also gives me 620 society research. Let's go for that. We have finished it for now. Um, decision? There it is. Yep, it does cost me 500 energy. We can also colonize this planet now. Let's build this something. Shoal Prime. Colony ship is on its way. And let's also start this study the living sea for 500 energy. And this is now in effect. Going to take a while interesting planet interesting planet there will be more of this one meanwhile another special project on this frozen wasteland has finished and their expedition on alpha hand returned a redoubt. thankfully the starship graveyard on the surface proved to be a technological treasure trove and we do get some plus three signs permanently and 870 boost for our engineering very good where is that that's over here so let's get us this research station on the way with uh, the construction ship that we also have close by I, by the way, have 960 alloys. I'm not going to consume them for now because we will use a major majority of that to upgrade our space stations, right? So over here, we're building one now. And then I'm also scouting in this area right now that we have our science ship. There, it's looking like there might be two choke points. So I will probably expand all the way here and then we here we build a major star base up, right? So that we have then these three big choke points that are protecting the whole um, inner core of our empire for now there's also a special project here that is timed so i might want to go over there right now and start researching this and then we go to belgium this one where we actually have three special projects four special projects that's pretty good it's going to be interesting for us another faction we have four of them now as we can see we got the imperialists we got the citizens elite union and we got an express mail what is that? Another science project that has been finished. So there is a space, port, uh, space pod and it's built uh, a ship pod and it's built out of the exact same alloys we ourselves use for space bond structures. Upon opening the pod, the only thing greeting us was a collection of documents detailing exactly where we should assign each of our scientists and what they should study for 10 years forward. Um, send the notes back to our domain. 
This gives me a nice research boost for 10 years, or this is too unnerving for 100 influence boost. Now, influence we could use then right away for more um, expansion, though we are pretty well expanded already, and this 5% research speed for 10 years is pretty good. Monthly unity minus 5 is not the same penalty, right? It's a weaker penalty than the... Um, then the, the science boost, right? So let's go for that one here. We do lose a bit of unity there, but that's it. Also have some campaigns available now that we can do like the education campaign. And I would like to do this one. This gives me for 11 years leader experience gain 25%, which is really good, especially for our scientists here that are researching all of them right now. And this is boosting all of them, uh, making them better scientists overall. It will cost me 1,100 energy though. We have that. So let's activate this one for now. Grow ever strong. Also, Missar finally belongs to us, Space this asteroid updated. belt system, which is looking really cool. It's also our latest um, addition. And what... Yeah, there we have it. Uh, actually, I wanted to say this is at that end, but nope, there it continues then into the other um, clusters that we have there. Let's start building some mining stations and some research stations here. We got two minerals and two physics boost out of that. And also, a strange calling is happening on shore. Oh, goodness, what, what is now... One of our scientists that was on this planet claims she has been hounded night and day by thoughts of mysterious sea presence on the planet. It isn't clear if she's uh, uh, unfit for further duty. On the other hand, allowing her to um, cohabitate with the research team may give them the opportunity for deeper insight. Um, poo. This is interesting. So what should we do? Very well, but exercise caution. Out of the question, return the officer to duty at once or dismiss her. Um... Exercise caution. Allow she her to leave our service and join the Shaw research team. Let's do this. Let's make this one interesting. Now, also, we have finished a, another tradition perk. So we can now finish a whole tradition branch. Let's just go for courier network. That gives me empire's brawl sys of, from systems and colonies is reduced by 25%, which is pretty good because we are already capped. And the higher this is, the more my technology costs, my tradition costs, my campaign costs, my rare resource edicts cost. Overall, it just makes things a bit more expensive. So dropping this one or pushing it down a bit further will be quite useful. Bear in mind, though, with the next month the changes we see in effect here with that its expansion tree is finished and we do get our very first ascension perk and we do have a new one that is the hydroponic ascension perk that i cannot go for um now now the hydrocentric that we have it we still need the terrestrial sculpting but i'm looking forward to this one here as it's making terraforming much easier now for my first real perk, so these are permanent boosts to your whole empire. Two of them are very interesting. The interstellar dominion that we have gives me at minus 20% for star blaze influence cost. Means we can expand a little bit quicker. Um, on the other hand, we got the technological ascendancy that gives me a flat out 10% research boost. And rare technologies appear um, 1.5 times faster or more often. Um, I actually like to go with the technological ascendancy because getting these 10% uh, boost early on is really good um, for speeding up our technology, uh, our research in general. So let's go with that. Um, as with my expansion, I'm feeling pretty confident right now. Um, over there we are secure now and I can now expand down here. But there's not really anything that we need to get as quickly as possible, right? We already have lots of Beautiful big planets there. There's also another continental world that is awaiting us over here. And influence-wise, it's looking fine. The next research has been completed. Hydroponics farm. Very good. This is going to be very good for food. Even though food is not the biggest problem anymore. Um, still with the dragon lurking around. And still with the dragon that has more demands probably. This might still come back up uh, again. That, be that it becomes a problem. For my next research, I'm going with Energy 7. The other ones, hmm, Tile Blockers, we don't need to clear them at the moment. And 38 months seems reasonable. Also, my Strikers are still taking 12 months forever, basically. And yes, that was Paradox, wasn't it? You get it? It was Paradox. Now, with the food problem out of the way for now, what we can do now is we can finally focus on other things like boosting our alloy production, which is already looking a bit grim there, and we do need so many alloys in the future. So these industrial districts here are very, very powerful for that. We also have the generator districts, so Trappist is probably going to use both of them. Now, I do need a bit more minerals for that, so let's go ahead and in the market, let's start purchasing us some more minerals. We do have the energy for that to do it. I could also go ahead and sell some of my consumer goods, 
good there we go we don't need that many in store anyway and with that i can also start my first industrial district turns minerals into alloys all right, we continue here with Revelations. So another breakthrough in the research of Shoal has appeared. So of course, the scientist that we left here is uh, proving very valuable. And the crew has described the planetary sea as a psionic entity. Its seemingly incorporeal state, in fact, belies a complex and coherent quantum wave structure, approximating a massive neural network unlike any other on record. I'm totally up to this, I'm totally up to this. Um, Flemix research has led to incredible insights and we do get the psionic theory right away and we also get massive boosts to society and physics Technology research. Secure. That was really powerful. There we got it, psionic theory and empire sprawl from pops is minus 10%. Oh yeah, very good that we got this one. And also some boosts here to our physics, which is then boosting. And also the striker craft there to seven months only now. Perfect. Special project over here in Belgium. Um, we found some wreckage of uh, the filial empire. We could, or the, f uh, the, the feral empire. And we could do two things with them. Um, either we um, need those minerals and we salvage the, the wreckage ourselves. We do get 300 minerals and we also get 10 intel on the foundation or we will um, send it back to them and this will please them and increase our influence let's go ahead with this one as i rather keep those guys here as my friends and hopefully they like it that we're sending one of them they could also mistake this and think that we destroyed it oh god did i mis make a mistake there i hope not let's continue researching next research boosts our energy credits that we got oh and we have received word of our down supply ships cargo we would like to extend our gratitude how oh, very good 100 influence we get we get one favor and also their opinion for us changes by 20 this can only be good right i hope so now let's continue we have the physics research so we could either go for the research station output um more deflectors so shield kind of likes and research speed let's go for research speed um, as I like that. Oh, look at that. My drones are coming along. Research there they are. Very nice. And also, this very important research has been finished. Um, zero G refineries gives me the mining station output 10%. We already have lots of mining stations. And we do need minerals. So, let's go ahead with that. And let's go to the Rippler space station. That we have over here by this neutron star. And I can now finally build us the hangar bay. 50 alloys it costs me. And it will produce strikers and massively boost the um, military power of this space station. So it's at 630 and we'll just come back here later and see how this one changed once these two modules are finished. We also continue our empire expansion. We have lots of influence now, 250 thanks to these special um, projects and special outcomes. Let's build us a star base here. So that's System another 70 influence charged. that we um, use for this one. And then we can actually go over here right away. So this construction ship is finished as far as I can see. And let's, oh, we have a couple of options there. We also have a continental world. That's interesting. Yeah, let's go for, let's go for this black hole there, settle here, and then we go for this one, the Yoruba system, where we do have this continental wall. Also not ideal, but, and that's a huge but, at least it's a colony that we can start and the habitability we can always increase later. That is something, and there's also the colony ship, very close to Shoal now. These guys are in for a real paradise, if there's not anything very strange happening in the ocean over there. But other than that, they should be in for a real treat, hopefully. Very close now to that beautiful world. Oh, evading hostile fleet. Where is it happening? We have an encounter. Over here, far side, there is um, hostile fleets. Zeta aliens, they're called. And my... They're, they're, we are, oh, we are actually under attack from them. Let's just see. My science ship is already fleeing the scene again. There they are, 560 of them. I think these are pirates or something like that. Pirates 560 is not the, the biggest military power. No, it's not pirates, I think. It's another kind of very strange creature roaming around here. All right, so there we have a hostile encounter. Let's get back there with my science ship and let's actually get over here and try to find something. And we've also started another first contact protocol here with these guys. We're going to find out who they are and what they want. All right, this one has been finished in the black hole, so we can now continue to the Yoruba system and, yep, build the star base right away and finally claim that system here with uh, that planet for us. This one, by the way, is a choke point system, 
So in Mizar, I'm going to upgrade now my star port there as well to a star hold. We are also finishing the next hangar bay and look we at the military power. Strong. From 600, we go up to 1,900k military power that this space station has now, thanks to these striker crafts. Um, also, our fleet is close by, but this is a nice military power and this should impress them and also, of course, intimidate them a bit, hopefully. Galaxus Prime has reached a new major milestone that is reaching 10 pops overall. Um, that means we can now upgrade our re reassemble ship shelter. So this is the first structure that we got right out of the ship that we landed on, founding it. And now we can finally upgrade it to an administration at least, so that's a better building. It gives lots of amenities on top of everything else. We need that as amenities is now low. It also gives me a bit more housing that we can use. And by the way, we are also down to only one job in Gedexus, so I might go ahead. Um, not this time though with the agriculture district but let's rather go for a generator district here as well as we don't need that much food at the moment another event so many events over here on this gas giant a ruined network of colonies dating back at least three million millennia can be found in low orbit and this is something that we can research another special um three point uh, three engineering research that we can get out of this the first contact protocol has made some progress. So upon entering MOA, our sensors picked up strange readings. This is happening now over here where we had the hostile ones. And observations of these entities is advised. Very good. And with that, we have stage three now and opening this one up. The Europa system belongs to us now, finally. So let's build the mining station here for the energy on the the star and for Yerba we can also start the colonization process so let's build us another um, colony ship that is now going for this one here. The mineral boost outcome is in effect now we have finished that researching leading us to 40 minerals so we doubled our um, well mineral production there not only with that but with one of these. Um, next one we have the powered exoskeleton yes very nice unlocks more um, paths with the robotics and this makes it possible for us to build robots then and thus also automate a lot of our productions. It also make it possible to um, settle on low habitability planets. We also have the research boost. Sorry, pals. I really do like the powered exoskeleton. So let's go ahead with that. Secured. And oh, society research has also been finished. That's the energy siphoning over here. And yes, very good. We got the pop growth speed tree. Let's go ahead with this one here. Another global pop growth of 10% awaits with this one. And oh... Oh, this is an interesting plan, uh, interesting system. Where is that? Oh, that's up here. And it's looking very dangerous for us as well. This is amazing. The cradle of life. Four gas giants enshrouded by a vast plasma field share a close orbit around Tyrannia Vec system's primary. The charged plasma fields extend well into the atmospheres of these gas giants and this unique environment serves as a breeding ground for a large number of spacefaring organisms. That's why there we are so having so many of these ships here. These are neutral forces as it looks to me, yep. And they might prove a danger over time. No idea yet. It's looking fantastic overall, the system there. Look at that. Really cool. Um, they're not hostile really, right? So my, my science ship is right here in the center of it all, researching. Of course, we cannot settle here for now. But later on, we might find us something there. And yes, as expected, there's lots of research points here waiting for us if we build some space stations there. Oh, we also made some progress with the Zeta aliens or Zeta aliens. The entities encountered by our fleet some time ago are spaceborne forms of life. So this is not another empire that is awaiting us here, right? Project they are done. hostile, quickly not named so Space Amobia, now. following a, a tactician's gross misreading of initial sensor output. What should we do with them? The creature displays aggressive behavior. Um, towards our ships but further study might be warranted they are not having the best power there as well we could say easy prey um, we could do um, damage in general so this gives me a permanent boost to 33% um, to damage to them um, 1000 credits for every space Amobia fleet destroyed and some influence or we fascinate we study them let's, we let's study them by aliens. the boosts are not that great anyway and also another uh, oh our very first archaeological project has been completed as well and with that we get an artifact and some um, engineering boost there uh, overall this science ship should be finished now where is it down here I we do need to um, continue researching here though 
right? So we do have some systems left over that we need to do. And another archaeological project has been finished. So lots of uh, projects finished right now. And we do get some debris. Um, and with that, another artifact from an alien life form that we find over here in Belgium, finishing this project there. Now, this science ship here that just finished that project has been in power for quite some time or in action for quite some time now leading to a scientist leader here that is pretty well versed pretty efficient i should say there is no other project close by here anymore that we could use for now and other than the archaeological one here but we do need it to claim it for our empire first so i will now finish this anomaly here as the last one and then we send it over here to the great bay where it is going to help um researching and boosting our direct research in our capital right away so we can use these science ships here to directly boost um the capital or these uh, these plants there let's actually do this right away we do have enough scientist ship anyway so there we have a source domain and we can now say assist the research and this is boosting all the research out of a planet by 16 percent right and we're doing this for solar domain now where we already have some of those research labs and we're going to build more of them eventually and they're all being boosted then by the science ship another tradition we can now choose um since we have enough unity once more and i would probably like to go now for the discovery this one here gives me the another survey speed research alternatives on top of that it gives me the research upkeep minus 20 percent and it unlocks the um, research station output by 20 percent this is really good as well let's go for discovery so far is it good stay tuned <laughs> 